across from the World Trade Center, and five Israelis, probably Mossad, were uh, giving the high five after the World Trade Center was hit. The investigation was taken away at the Justice Department from uh, terrorism and put in national security, completely sealed off. Uh, you know, if you could look at it benignly, it was the Israelis stumbled across this. Didn't believe it. Or worse. I just don't know, but the, the parameters of people knew about this of 9/11 in advance are there, and they need to be investigated. Is it possible that these Mossad assets were in place in New Jersey in order to film the first hit? And there's actually a lot of uh, reports that they were there set up before the first plane They hit. were. They were set up before the first plane So hit. you can confirm that. That's true. Yeah. yeah, they were set up there before. Carl, what about this question of advanced knowledge of what was going to happen on 9-11? How clear are investigators that some Israeli agents may have known something? Well, it's very explosive information, obviously, and there's a great deal of evidence that they say they have collected, none of it necessarily conclusive. It's more when they put it all together. A bigger question, they say, is how could they not have known? Almost a direct quote, Brett. After the collisions, the Israelis were seen dancing, and police were called to the scene for suspicions of involvement in the attacks. The Israelis were seen jumping and cheering, taking pictures of themselves in front of the burning towers. I my binoculars and I could see the towers from my window. And this is where I, you know, I'm looking. And all of a sudden, down there, I see this van park. And I see three guys on top of the van. And I could see that they were like happy. You know, they, 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 were, they didn't look shocked to me. You know, they didn't look shocked. I thought it was very strange. Amazingly enough, we have found the moving company where the five Israelis worked. Was this building being used as a front for some kind of Israeli intelligence operation that possibly was doing surveillance on the Arab American community? Were there men celebrating or slapping fives or whatever? Some of the guys were kind of happy that, you know, they were smiling. It wasn't like something, you know, out of terror. And uh, I think some of the people saw them up on the roof uh, from that building over there and reported them to the police. We had received an all points bulletin and uh, I just happened to see the van and, you know, hollered over to my lieutenant. You know, I think that could be the van. We checked it out and it was. You know, we were all on edge, obviously, so I really wasn't looking to make friends with these people and neither were the officers that I were with. Once we started talking to them, you know, they were pretty much like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we're not against you, we're with you. The Israelis were, for a moment, in the gossip spotlight in Israel and were invited on an Israeli talk show. And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. The five Israelis were detained for 10 weeks and finally deported on immigration violations after the FBI cleared them of any involvement in 9-11. The details of the Israelis who worked for the moving company were not well reported to the rest of the country and little known is the stories of the vans which were stopped with explosives found in them, as well as vans which were reportedly blown up. Reports of vans packed with explosives were confirmed at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Alluded to a report that there had been a van loaded with some explosives stopped near the George Washington Bridge. Which... About uh, earlier, we had heard that an FBI spokesperson said that there was a report on the George Washington Bridge, which is another facility which you folks are responsible for policing, uh, a report that there had been a van uh, stopped there that had explosives. Have... Two or three men arrested on the New Jersey Parkway. Deborah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Uh, that is the information that I am getting from two sources, that there was a van either on the New Jersey Turnpike or the Garden State Parkway, and that it was near the George Washington Bridge. There were two or three men who were in the van. The van was pulled over. Uh, it is not clear why the van was pulled over, but when it was, uh, law enforcers found uh, uh, tons of explosives inside of the van. Now, WCBS-TV News in New York is reporting two people arrested by the FBI in a truck with explosives under the George Washington Bridge. The DW Bridge uh, spans the Hudson River connecting New York City uh, and New Jersey. 
tackle. Do you know anything about those extra no, explosions we heard? No, I do not. Were they car bombs? I have no idea, ma'am. Are you being told that we're going to have to move out of this area as well? I was not told anything relative to that. What about the sewers? Are they looking for bombs in sewers? Non-essential personnel. That's okay. All I can tell you. Okay, Thank obviously. You, sir. Uh... Mayor Rudy Giuliani now speaking again. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to rescue some more people. I have no idea how many others, but at least there's some hope that we'll be able to get some people out. We have been able to to, to get two people out who, were, who have been identified as Port Authority police officers. And word late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they're questioning them as we speak. It was this evidence that caused the agency to speculate that a van packed with explosives was parked in the garage which was also detonated to help weaken the structure. About a block and a half away from uh, the site of where the explosion was. That area has just been uh, evacuated because uh, police have found what they describe it as a suspicious device, and they fear that it might be something that could lead to uh, another explosion. Obviously, there, there, there's a real sense of caution here on the part of police. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center, aside from the ones that may have been caused by the impact of the plane with the building, may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. Joining me is Jack Kelly. Now, he is a foreign correspondent, war correspondent, and just came back from Israel. He has some information about these attacks. Jack, what can you tell us happened first in New York? Um, apparently what appears to happen was that at the same time two planes hit the building that there that the FBI most likely thinks that there was a car or truck packed with explosives underneath the buildings which also exploded at the same time and brought both of them down now that's the first time we're hearing that so two planes and explosives that were in the building is that correct that is the working theory at this point the I've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. In the police radio recordings released to the public, reports of vans were confirmed. Good evening. The tapes offer a chilling record of terror and heroism. There were many calls like these. We have a white van. Two and three of uh, guys in there. They look like town civilians that going around the uh, building. There's a minivan heading towards the Howard Tunnel. I see the guy by North Airport mixing some drugs, and he has no street uniform. Uh, he has what? Street uniform. 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 Street we have both of them on the day. Let's get some help over here. Now, I'm sending you here to shoot that. I just want to make sure you and your guys are all right over there, okay? That's all. What's the location, right? Put them up. Put them up. You know, we have both field trans driven. That exploded. Resurrect. Hillary. No, I got to go. They're pulling okay. them away. Let me tell you what's happening. They're pulling them away. They're taking away uh, Lieutenant Sam Esposito. They just left. It was an off-duty officer. Just left. Wait, he's. Papers just walk away. 